Hi, I'm Brian Bankson. I'm a library assistant at George Memorial Library. And today we're going to learn how to do professional looking portraits on a budget. So these, uh, you'll be able to take pictures just like this uh, from uh, using things that you have in your own home. So first let me show you uh, what uh, you're going to need for this. First, you're going to need a camera. And for this one, we're going to use just our regular camera phone. Um, you're welcome to use any other type of, type of camera you want. You can use a professional DSLR or a point and shoot. Um, for this one, I'm going to show you how to take a really nice picture using this will be with the iPhone. Um, I also have something I have is a little holder or tripod that you can use uh, for your, um, your iPhone. Uh, it also helps uh, if you have a DSLR, uh, a nice professional you know, tripod, real sturdy, is also really helpful. Um, we're going to be using it for lighting. This is a shop lamp. I bought this at uh, Home Depot and uh, um, I think five dollars for it. Another uh, few dollars for the bulb. Uh, for this one I'm using an LED bulb, uh, which is real helpful because it doesn't get hot like incandescence, so your model won't start sweating. Uh, most of these will come with a, a clamp on it. Um, it's also helpful just for other things to have these clamps like this. This is one I bought at a dollar store for a couple bucks for a pack of five. Um, this is a reflector. It's going to be used to reflect light back onto the, the other side of the your model space. This is actually one of the um, those things you put in your car windshields to keep your car cool. These work just as well as the professional ones you can buy at the camera store, but they're a lot cheaper. I bought this one at the dollar store too. It'll also help to have a diffuser. Now this is something I bought, I did buy at a camera shop. Uh, um, they're not very expensive, just a few dollars. Uh, you can also make your own using um, like a, an embroidery hoop and just put some kind of sheer material around it, stretch it around it. Works just as fine. And for a background, I'm just using a white bed sheet. You can use um, any color you want, depending on what you would like. And I just have it uh, you know, tacked to the wall. So that's what you're going to need. Um, so let's get started. Alrighty. And um, if any of y'all um, you know, use this tutorial to take uh, some portraits. Uh, make sure to reply to uh, to this post and uh, and upload your picture and tag Fort Bend County Libraries. All right, so we have Tabitha who's going to be our model today. So let me show you exactly what we're going to do. So this, you can really clamp it onto anything that you have, uh, like if you have a high back chair or something, you know, fairly tall taller than the model is sitting down. I'm going to go ahead and use this light stand because this is what I have here. So to explain a little about lighting, oh, I guess I need to look. electricity helps. You're going to want your light to be coming from above and typically at a 45 degree angle to the model. This is what's called Rembrandt lighting, and it mimics the lighting used by Dutch painters in the, the Renaissance period. Now this is, um, you know, lighting, you know, this, this one side of her face. So you'll, you'll need a little bit of light on the other side. So this is where you'll use your reflector. And what I'm going to do is just clamp it onto the back of this chair. And move it in close enough so that there's light coming back on this side of the face. Another good thing about these ones is there's a black side to it as well. This has the, actually the opposite effect. This will absorb light. So if you actually want to make this side darker, you can use a black side to absorb light off the side of her face. All right. Now you're going to want um, 
the, your model significantly uh, uh, distance from the backdrop, but enough that where you get the backdrop into the entire picture. Um, if you really want this backdrop to be actually white, white, you're going to have to put another white and shine it onto the, the backdrop. Otherwise, it's going to be um, usually a, a, a shade of gray, depending on how far uh, the model is from it and how much white is on it. All righty. So from here, oh, let me t okay, so you don't want to uh, have a fairly dimly lit room uh, to take these pictures in, so I'm going to cut the lights for just a little bit. Then you have to get pretty close with these iPhones. They don't have zoom lenses. And there you go. You have a nice picture. So next I'm going to show you uh, different ways to light. So this lighting, well it's called Rembrandt, and you can tell Rembrandt lighting because there will always be a triangle of white right here on the cheek. And that's typically how, how you'll know what we're, if you're doing Rembrandt whiting right. This is also called broad whiting. Because as you can see, her face is turned slightly this way. And so you're, you're putting the white on the, si the side of her face that's closest to the camera. Now, turn your face this way. So in this example, the bulk of the white on the side of her face uh, that is away that is uh, away from the camera. This is called short lighting. This is also I, I usually like using this lighting better. It's real nice for slimming the face down. So let me try a picture with this. One last thing I want to show you is using the diffuser. The diffuser creates a much softer light, which is really great for portraits. So I'm just going to use this tripod and just to clamp this on. All right. As you can see, it creates a much softer light. So let's see what this looks like. All right. All right. Well, that is how to do professional looking portraits on a budget. Uh, again, if you have, if you do any uh, pictures using these techniques, please post them. Uh, uh, reply to uh, this post and po uh, tag us with Fort Bend County Libraries. So stay tuned for next month. We will be doing uh, pet photography. Where I'll show you how to photograph your nice, cute, adorable animals.